and this is about a 12 minute process. The solar arrays will deploy straight, and you're getting a live view right now. This is really exciting. Uh, they'll eventually be swept back against the vehicle prior to translunar injection burn to prevent any loads from breaking or damaging the arrays. And on the end of each solar array is a camera that will capture imagery for us throughout the mission, along with a few other cameras placed outside and inside the spacecraft to help us monitor and perform various other inspections. Of course, if you recall the Apollo capsule design, there were no solar arrays. We had fuel cells instead. So this design with arrays gives us the opportunity to stay in orbit longer since we practically have no limit to the energy available for use from the sun. Coming up on 21 minutes since liftoff. Orion is attached to the interim cryogenic propulsion stage. You can see those four solar arrays unfolding now. And again, Artemis 1 is a flight test. It's paving the way for a sustainable presence at the moon. Looking forward to the future, Gateway will be our space station in lunar orbit. And we have some similarities and differences in the solar arrays unfolding right now on Orion and those that'll be on Gateway. So like we're seeing now, these are deploying autonomously. Uh, the Gateway solar arrays will as well. And while these generate those 11 kilowatts of power, the two rollout solar arrays, or ROSAs, on Gateway will generate 60 kilowatts of power. That ROSA design is currently being tested aboard the space station. We have two new ones installed and a spacewalk conducted earlier today, preparing for another set. Coming up on 22 minutes since liftoff today, Orion and the interim cryogenic propulsion stage traveling over 16,800 miles per hour. The solar arrays deploying now are part of the European service module. It's comprised of 20,000 parts and components. The service module was developed as part of an agreement between NASA and the European Space Agency, or ESA.